As MMTLP goes private, sellers are receiving mails from exchanges to close their short positions. So is it the right time to buy? Stay focused as we go through these mails along with recent news as well as my chart analysis and price prediction. But before we do that, subscribe to our channel Stocks101 for regular stock market updates. One exchange, Trade Zero America, sent an email to their clients notifying them that users can close their MMTLP sell positions themselves, otherwise they'll be forcefully closed by the exchange on 9th December. This news has sent waves of joy among buyers and holders as they prepare for the big squeeze, which many believe will take the price of the stock to the moon giving crazy returns. As for the weekly price action, we started the rally on Monday going from a price of $1.64 to $2.2 indicating almost a 50% return in a single day. A fall then started throwing the price down from the $2.3 high to the current $1.92 level which is nothing to worry about since it's just a pullback. In our opinion, the next two weeks are going to be a roller coaster for MMAT holders as profits from MMTLP traders pour in. With all that in mind, let's analyze the charts. So as you guys can see right here we're now in the one week chart for MMAT since this is a weekly analysis and first up we'll analyze the one week chart then the one day chart and on it off you'll get the 5 minute chart but right off the bat we can see that over here we got a massive bull run brewing up ever since October pretty much right so we had a bottom over here at 0.63 dollars I believe and there is a reversal pattern that we made over here which is well quite interesting right after we got this pin bar candle which was red it was followed by a green inside candle now an inside candle is a candle where well the wicks are bigger than the body right so this wick and both the lower wick right they're both bigger than the body of this candle so that makes it an inside candle and that usually indicates high volatility so you know when it is followed when it's the follow-up of a red pin bar candle, it usually means that a reversal is about to come. And of course, we can see that the right, you know, the very next week, we got a massive reversal and we went up by pretty much 35%. And even though we did go up by pretty much 100%, we fell down all the way back again. After that, of course, we got a small pullback over here, but we're still going strong. And if we talk about the overall percentage, right, ever since October, the stock is up like, pretty much 184% or rather 180% which is if you ask me that's pretty much the best returns that you can get this year right that you could get this year so is it still a good thing to buy the stock is it still a good time to buy the stock well there are a few things to consider right of course with the squeeze coming up and now that exchanges are finally coming ahead and they're like hey you know you'll have to sell this or rather you'll have to close your position right you can't really sell the stock anymore so just go ahead, close your position, otherwise we'll have to do it for you. So that of course is a good factor because it means that, you know, we're finally moving ahead with things and the short squeeze is just coming closer and closer. And now of course if we talk about resistance levels, we can see that over here we have a strong resistance around $2.10 and we recently got resisted by that. And above that we have another resistance around 2. Point, well, it's pretty much around the $2.3, $2.4 range. And we got resisted over here as well. If we look at the overall performance of the stock, we earlier went all the way up to about, well, $22, right? That probably must have been something similar to this. And that is why I personally believe that we can get a good squeeze now and it can hopefully get a 10x squeeze even, right? We might get back into the $20 range and get a 10, you know, 10x squeeze. But there is another sign that the squeeze is coming closer and that is why we'll quickly move on into the one day chart so I can show you that. So now that we're in the one day chart for MMAT, we can clearly see that over here a bull trend has been continuously brewing up. And as you guys can see we are about to get a green candle on Monday which I believe will be massive so this probably is the best time to buy. Right, no financial advice but we can see that we've been getting 4 or 5 candles before continuing the bull trend. Right, we got three candles before we continued it and now we've had our three candles out of which two are red. So it has to be that, you know, we get a good time on Monday, we get a good candle on Monday. So, of course, we did get a 4.35% in the greens because, as you guys can see right here, we did open in a gap up, which was almost a 10% or rather 7% gap up, 7.2%. And after that, we fell by about 3%, coming down to a 4.3% gap up. So, in my opinion... 
well we should probably get a good candle on monday because as you guys can see the market itself was pretty much red on friday so if we get a good candle on monday that would probably mark you know something like a small reversal and even though you know we did get a negative day that day right i do hope that the market probably will recover on monday and the buying volume will you know come back and also considering the fact that some stocks have fallen to really low levels like well over here we can see that alibaba has fallen by 3.8 percent right netflix Mullen, they've fallen neo has fallen by 3.7 percent right so a lot of people might consider buying that day and monday especially is used you know usually known for its volatility and volume now even if we talk about volume trends we can see that over here you know we got a volume of well let me open this we got a volume of about 67.5 million on monday right that was the last monday over here as well on monday right even though we got a low volume we got a massive green candle over here on monday right we did fall but we got again good volume over here wednesday well you know that's a different story but in general we will probably get a good volume on monday and that should in my opinion you know if we get a gap up somewhere around here right first up okay now what i personally believe would be the perfect scenario is that we get a gap up above the two dollar range because we're you know really struggling to get above the two dollar range so once we get there we'll probably be able to get back into the 2.10 dollar range we'll probably hit a resistance at 2.10 right 2.10 why don't i mark that 2.10 we'll probably hit a resistance over there but still right we'll be able to go up and hopefully we'll get a green candle on tuesday as well and that should push up you know push us around the 2.30 dollar range and once we break this resistance then we'll probably get another trend over here between this range then probably get 2.10 as a support and then go up again but of course if we want to analyze friday's you know trading session we'll have to quickly jump on into the five minute chart so now that we're in the five minute chart for friday right we can clearly see that over here the market that day by the way ended on 1 pm so anyways we can see that we did not get a you know that impressive of a volume and of course we started the day off around this price at 1.97 we did go up a bit above the two dollar level but again we got resisted around 2.02 dollars .02, right so that's two dollars and two cents after that of course we got a red engulfing candle and that pretty much guaranteed that we are going to fall down and of course you know it could have been a great short trade over here you could have gotten at least even if you traded with minimal you know risk and um, what do you call that reward ratio right risk to reward ratio you could have easily gotten at least a one percent gain which in intraday it's pretty decent i guess right so of course we can see that we got pretty dry volume over here with like a thousand shares traded 200 shares traded 200 shares traded is like really low right over here as well we got 100 shares traded 200 shares traded that's kind of really disappointing if you ask me but i'm sure that we got better volume in mmtlp so let me go there well that's not exactly the case we did get better volume but again a bit disappointing mmtlp fell by well let's see it fell all the way from 10.87 dollars to pretty much the 10 dollar range which is seven percent in a gap down but of course you know not in a gap down seven percent in a bear market but of course if we consider this gap up it was already a 14 percent gap up so we're already you know we're still in a five percent positive over there but if you ask me what's going to happen on monday right i personally think that we'll probably get a gap down on monday now this is a bad thing of course right but we'll have to consider two things first up we got crazy selling volume over here right so this might indicate a gap down on monday of course we don't have the aftermarket data because the market closed early and you know considering this even if we get a gap down i'm pretty certain that we will get a bullish candle on either monday or tuesday but i personally am hoping that we get a gap up as i already told you in a perfect scenario above two dollars but even if we get a gap up somewhere around here below two dollars that still would be a bit comforting but then again considering the fact that we got a crazy gap up from wednesday into friday right we might not get that big of a gap up and actually get a gap down and then build our way up all the way around the two dollar range and with that i'm of course i won't say exactly bullish because that is more of a fundamental term i'm bullish on the stock in a way that i know that it's gonna squeeze and of course 
you know, buyers will pour in their profits over here, right? The people who profit from MTLP will, you know, kind of pour their profits in here on MMAT. So that will help the stock go up at least, you know, I'm not hoping for anything high. I'm just taking a target of $5. I want to see the stock at $5 by the end of this year. And I believe that it's, you know, achievable. So again, with that, remember that this most definitely is not financial advice and you should always do your own research before you trade. If I already enjoyed my analysis, be sure to hit the like button. If you did not enjoy it, be sure to hit the dislike button. You can subscribe to our channel Stocks101 for more such videos. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.